Hello folks, welcome back to another cooking show video here I'm doing on some fresh oysters. I got them from Albertsons. And the name of these fresh oysters are Pacific Live. That's all the name they could tell me. Uh, I was hoping to get some Kumamoto's or something like that, but I also made a, uh, a minette. It's a classic sauce for oysters. It's uh, pretty much vinegar, apple cider vinegar, horseradish, pepper, parsley, garlic, and lemon juice. So I'm gonna show you how to, first you gotta wash your oysters. So I've got them all washed right here. And there's this little back part right here. It's like the little valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put them in a towel. You always have a, an oyster shucking knife here. And you got this little point in the back right back here. So we'll back it up just like this. Put it down in there and just move the lip back and forth in there until it pops open. And they're just like that. So that just popped open. So you gotta go around the edge here. Be careful, you don't want to get rid of that juices in there because that's the good stuff. And just go through and pry it up a little more. <coughs> it's got this little knuckle on it. And scrape off the top, right here. Scrape off the top. You got your top shell. And you got your oyster with all the liquid. So go ahead, put it right here. They're pretty good. Um, they're a male aphrodisiac, so um, ladies, if you want to get your guy in the mood, get him some oysters. Some can be a little harder to pop open. You find the sweet spot in there. That's why you use this towel. There we go, got it. So they were a buck piece at Albertsons. So I figured I'd get me a couple. Do a little video on how to properly prepare them. I said you just go around loosen up the edges of them. I want to get rid of all that liquid inside of it because that's the good stuff. Oyster Shooters, Oyster Rockefeller, um, Oyster Normandy. Oh, what is that? Um, Oyster Normandy. It's baked with spinach. I think it's Oyster Rockefeller. Uh, you always want to go in here. Just release them from the bottom of the shell. When you slurp them down, they come out really easy. Like I said, you don't want to waste all that liquid in there. That's the good stuff. When I worked at the water lily, we always had fresh oysters. Chef Chris always had his good seafood coming in. Um, Chef Chris and Navity, I learned a lot from the gentleman. So again, you just put your knife down in there, right until it gets down in that opening. And make sure they're harvested in clean waters. These are actually farm rays I've seen on the, on the thing. And there's things, so it's got that little thing on the top. Go ahead and free them up from the bottom. Oyster Poor Boys, classic New Orleans dish, very tasty. Go ahead and get another one going. Shucking oysters. I always had two or three different kinds. A couple of restaurants I worked at. Got the customers. I went to Bouchon's in Vegas. He had a whole oyster display. You could pick out which ones you wanted. Very nice restaurant. Can you uh, release the edge from them? Nice and free. We'll go ahead and get these oysters. I got a lot of little shells on the uh, beach over there, so then what I do is take my mignette, nice and mixed up, a little vinegary, parsley, a little mixture. I like a lot in mine. A couple little breadcrumbs, a little spinach, a little Asiago cheese and bake them. It's another good one. And you just slurp them down. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh like the ocean. Here we do another one. Mm. So good. I love that mini up. Good balance to them. Have them raw too. Oysters on the half shell is classic. Usually the restaurants a buck fifty, two bucks a piece.
Give a little lunch for me. Piece of shell. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. The proper way to shuck an oyster. Always use a towel. Always have a good oyster knife that has a little curve on it. You guys can see that or not. A little curve. Get right down there and you wiggle it back and forth and pop it up. Very good stuff. So I appreciate your guys' time. And, um, you know, I really suggest checking out oysters. They're really good. Um, I know Dakota, she's tried them before on one of her little school trips. When they went to Mackinac Island, I was pretty impressed. Um, so they're really good, tasty, and as long as they're farm-raised. Thanks, guys. Take care.